Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Keeles. I'm the principal here at Averill Park High School, and it's my pleasure and my honor to welcome you tonight as we open our fourth annual Stu Underclass Student Achievement Awards. So tonight, we are here to celebrate the incredible achievements of almost 200 of our students in grades 9 through 11. As you know, we've always had a Senior Awards Night, and that's usually in June. So while we'll continue to do that each year, four years ago, our faculty and our staff added tonight's ceremony as a way to recognize our students' achievement at formative points throughout their high school career. We believe that this serves as a motivator to help support your continued success throughout high school. Taking the time to recognize the achievement of our students is this year more important than ever, given the circumstances that we've faced over the past several months. I'd like to highlight that tonight we will not only recognize academic achievement, but also demonstrated passion for specific areas of studies, as well as contributions which students have made within each department. At Averill Park High School, we often talk about our motto, every student, every day. And we know that this means that our students are much, much more than a score on an exam or a number on a transcript. Our students do achieve in the classroom but they also achieve in ways that we know will make them ready for success in life after high school, no matter what it is that they might choose to do. This can be seen in their self-direction, persistence, ability to collaborate with others, and certainly in their contributions to our school and community around them. Tonight, we are here to celebrate all of that. So to the students being recognized this evening, please know that we are extremely proud of you. Before we begin the presentation of awards, I would like to present to you Dr. James Francini, our Superintendent of Schools, who will share some brief opening remarks. Good evening. My name is Jim Francini from the Superintendent of Schools here at the Evil Park Central School District. To all of you watching tonight's ceremony at home, on behalf of the Board of Education, Administration, and Faculty, I thank you for taking the time to share this evening with the students who are being recognized. The mission of the Averill Park Central School District is to meet the needs of and create opportunities for every student every day. The students that are being recognized tonight are the inspiration for our faculty, staff, and administration of the district to make sure we are fulfilling our mission. For these students, like all of our students, deserve our commitment to provide them the opportunity to excel and find their passion in life every time they walk through our doors, or as they've been doing lately, every time they log in from home. To our award winners, congratulations on this recognition. These awards signify that you have made your mark this year on your school community. Whether it is because of your academic success, your passion for a particular subject, or your contribution in a content area. You should be proud that you have, uh, your hard work and dedication have been noticed and appreciated by your teachers. Your work, however, is not complete. As you continue along the journey toward high school graduation, take a moment to reflect on what led you to being recognized tonight. You should ask yourselves, what are the characteristics that have made you successful? Equally important, however, is to reflect upon those areas in which there is room for improvement. In this way, you can use this night not only as a night of recognition and honor of past accomplishments, but also as a springboard for future success. Enjoy the ceremony, be proud of what you've accomplished, and I encourage you to think about the people in your life who have helped you get here. And I further encourage you to let them know who they are by thanking them. Congratulations on being part of tonight's award assembly, and I wish you continued success in your time at Averill Park High School. Thank you. Dr. Francini, thank you so very much. At this time, Mrs. Leach and I will begin with our Academic Achievement Awards. Students receiving these awards were selected by their teachers for outstanding achievement in their classrooms. For each department, we will recognize the course and the students receiving recognition for the course. After the Academic Achievement Awards, we will transition to the Department Passion and Contribution Awards. We will begin with the Art Department, so I give you Mr. Klein. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Klein. I'm here representing the Averill Park High School Art Department. 
On behalf of Ms. Gregory, Ms. Bailey, and myself, we just wanted to say thank you for how you've distinguished yourselves in our classrooms. Uh, whether it's your work ethic, your willingness to dive into the artistic process, or your positive can-do attitude in the art classroom, both the actual and virtual, um, we just we just want to say congratulations and thanks. Um, we can't wait to see what you do next, and gosh, we really hope you enjoy this moment. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Klein. We will begin the Academic Achievement Recipients in Studio and Art. Congratulations to Christian Romer and Cameron Bennett. Next up, we have Beginning Ceramics. Congratulations to Isabella George and Danielle LaPierre. In Beginning Painting and Drawing, the recipients are Augustin Johnson and Roy Jacobson III. In Advanced Sculpture, we have Briar Silkoff. The award winners in Photography are Clotilde Musset and Gabrielle Adamo. In Advanced Photography, we have Adriana Maxfield and Gabriella Adamo. In Advanced Ceramics, the winners are Maddie Allegretta and Sophia Stern. In Advanced Painting and Drawing, the award recipients are Ashley Bayer and Gina Monaco. Congratulations to Noah Bonesteel and Fiona Carroll, the recipients for AP Studio and Art. In 3D Portfolio, congratulations to Elizabeth Owens. And finally in our art department, congratulations Rebecca Moore and Brody Smith for being the award represent recipients in contemporary graphic design. Hi, I'm Ms. Muzakis representing the English department. Congratulations to the recipients of this year's Academic Achievement Awards. These awards recognize your hard work and dedication to the subject of English language arts. We are so proud of you. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Mrs. Muzakis. And now we will start with our recipients for the ninth grade. In English 9, congratulations go to Samuel Bonesteel, Isabel Brady, Haley Clark, Alec Hansen, Rory Iwanesco, Bailey Lang, Natalie LeFrancois, Christian Romer, and Nicole Wing. For English 10, congratulations go to Madison Anderson, Isabella Cardillo, Briar Silkoff, Isabella George, Christopher Leon, Mara Little, Lauren Nolan, Elena Penman, Kaylin Pogue, Victoria Saavedra Sanchez, Tyler Smith, Evan Sweet, Emily Walsh, and Kylie Weaver. In English 11, we send our congratulations to Bailey Bates, Emma Burdick, Fiona Carroll, Lorelai Denley, John DeRocher, Scott Ferlito, Colin Hansen, and Alexander Heap. For English 11 AP, our congratulations go to Colby Lester and Mackenzie Rockwell. In English, we also send our congratulations to Chance Tebolt and Damian Woodward. In English as a New Language, we send our congratulations to Miguel Figueroa Borrero. In Public Speaking, our congratulations go to Emma Deo and Chance Tebolt. 
And finally, in our English department, for Introduction to Theater, we send our congratulations to Aaron Schultz and Julia Skiba. Hello, Averill Park High School students and families. I'm Mrs. Caballero, and on behalf of Mrs. Apollons, Mr. Brown, Mrs. Caruso, Ms. Scheidel, and myself, I'm honored to introduce to you our nominees for academic achievement in the Lowe Classroom this year. Year after year, we continue to be amazed by the positive and scholarly attitude that our Lowe students demonstrate in their work. In particular, this year's nominees have approached their work with dedication and top marks in pursuit of excellence in communicating in a second language, a skill that will serve them well throughout their lives and careers. We are so proud of this achievement. Well done, bon travail et bien hecho. Thank you, Mrs. Caballero. And now on to our Language Other Than English Award winners. In French, too, congratulations goes out to Samuel Bonesteel, Grace La Laperte, Clotilde Musset, and Cara Thiel. In French, three, the recipients are Francesca Maroni and Alexandra Gabri. For French, four, the winners are Rebecca Moore and Fiona Carroll. For Spanish, one, the recipients are Delaney King, and Kathleen Doran. Congratulations to our Spanish two students, Jacob Krupe, Mary Harmer, Rory Iwanesco, Owen Perella, Ryan Richter, and Christian Romer. For Spanish three, the award winners are Sonia Kay, Mara Little, and Michalina Lombardi. And finally, in Spanish 4, our Academic Achievement Award winners are Emma Burdick and Kendall Dollard. Congratulations to all the students who received an Academic Achievement Award in Mathematics. Uh, this award is about students who do their absolutely best to achieve the highest. Uh, we see all of your hard work that you put in. We see your, your hard work at home. We see your hard work in the classroom. We see your curiosity. We see you asking good questions. Uh, we see you helping your fellow students. Uh, we see you collaborating and working as a team with your fellow students. So congratulations. We are proud of you. Thank you so much, Mr. Zender. And now we will begin with the highest achievement students in algebra. And congratulations for Algebra 1 goes to Alexandra Bendet, Savannah Hansen, Mary Harmer, Gwendolyn Jameson, Grace La Liberté, Kaylin Pogue, Victoria Saavedra Sanchez, Lillian Slavin. Peyton Stelling, and Kara Teal. In math, we also send our congratulations to Ashley Mazzacco, Cody Sage, and Nicole Thornburn. For logic, we'd like to recognize and congratulate Rose Jaquiel and Tyler Michaels. In the area of geometry, congratulations go to Zara Cole, Dre Cruz, Abigail Flutie, Rory Iwanesco, Olivia Cronow, Noah Liberty, Sean Lucier, Makara Malone, Clotil Musset, Brianna Wagner, and Emily Walsh. For Algebra 2, we send our congratulations to Gabrielle Deck, Isabella Geyer, Sonia Kay, 
Mackenzie Rockwell, Christian Romer, and Jason Strickland. For Financial Algebra, congratulations go to Alyssa Maiello and Belazara Polero. For Statistical Reasoning in Sports, our congratulations go to Rebecca Moore and Madia Ryder. For AP Statistics, we send our congratulations to Allison Lipinski and Kyle Roth. In Pre-Calculus, congratulations go to Emily Horton and Karen Zimmerman. And in Calculus 1, we send our congratulations to Kendall Dollard and Alexandra Gabbery. Our Academic Achievement Awards in the Music Department are going to a fabulous group of students. They work hard each and every day to succeed, to motivate their peers, um, always are engaged in class and bringing higher questions and pushing themselves to a new level within their education and musicianship. We could not be prouder of them. Thank you, Mrs. Christie. For highest achieving in music theory, the recipients are Francesca Maroni and Anthony Pestizzo. In concert choir, congratulations goes to Abigail Garrison, Karen Zimmerman, Emma Parker, and Emily Horton. Hi, it's Hi, it's Mrs. Ashline, and I would like to congratulate all for taking our personal health seriously so we can focus on future success. The students winning the undergraduate awards for health have taken each assignment to the maximum as a way to continue learning and applying the health information personally. Health is important for success and a happy life. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ashline. Congratulations to the following students for the highest achievement in health. Congratulations go to Isabella Cardillo, Michalina Lombardi, Sydney Ferguson, and Isaac Joseph. The recipients for achievement in physical education are Ashley Mazaka and Justin Zimmer. In lifetime activities, the award recipients are Avery Barber, Terry Meisner, Jr., Matthew Peckham, Samantha Tremont, Bailey Voris, and Sarah Wing. In the area of strength and conditioning, congratulations goes out to Anthony Cordero, Owen Dell, Emma Harriman, and Rachel Peckham. In our team sports classes, congratulations goes to Lucas Ferguson, Isabella Geyer, Jacob Kelly, Evan Moore, Tyler Strock, and Damian Woodard. Hi everyone. The science department would like to congratulate you on your awards tonight. You are doing an amazing job. Keep up the good work. I miss seeing you all. Boulay? Hi folks. I need to congratulate you. Um, um, one of you for your hard work and dedication and studying science here at the high school. Keep up the great work remotely. It's another great tool and skill for your toolbox. Hi guys, just want to say congratulations. We're very proud of you. 
uh, and know that your hard work and success just inspires us to do more and be more as your teachers. Hi everyone, Ms. Hunter here. Just wanna congratulate you on your science award. We're so proud of you. We miss seeing you and just keep up that great work. Uh, stay healthy and stay positive. Hello everyone, congratulations and great job. We're very proud of you and miss you very, very much. We hope to see you soon. Hey gang, this is Mink. Just wanna send out a congratulations to all those award winners. Hopefully you're having a good time. Um, summer's right around the corner and you can enjoy it. So again, thank you for all your hard work and we appreciate it. Hello everybody, this is Luisa Sorrento. Congratulations on all the awards. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you in the fall. Miss your faces walking in our doors. See you soon. Congratulations from the science department. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Well, thank you to the entire science department for taking the time to be with us tonight. And now on to our science department achievement awards. In the earth science category, congratulations go to Matthew DiGiulio, Grace Droney, Gregory Elfman, Isabella George, Ashlyn McCary, Olivia Pascarell, Tyler Smith, and Nicole Tilly. For Living Environment, our congratulations go to Marissa Crozier, Hannah Krupe, Abigail Flutie, Belle Klimek, Carly McShane, and Ryan Tarian. For Molecular Biology, we send our congratulations to Caroline Antelik, Emma Hanlon, Rory Iwanesco, and Christian Romer. In environmental science, we send our congratulations to Elizabeth Dubois and Sophie Schwartz Isa. For exploring chemistry, congratulations go to Victoria Saavedra Sanchez. In chemistry, congratulations to Bailey Bates, Alexandra Gabri, Alexander Heap. Colin Kelly, Michalina Lombardi, Francesca Maroney, Elena Penman, and Tyler Spink. And in physics, we send our congratulations to Emma Burdick and Benjamin Campbell. In horticulture, Congratulations go to Jacob Krupe and Madison Matice. For Intro to Forensic Science, we send our congratulations to Molly Cummins and Mackenzie Rockwell. In the course of biology, the human gene, congratulations go to Michalina Lombardi and Rebecca Moore. And finally, in the human brain, our congratulations go to Emma Burdick and Kendall Dollard. Hi, Avril Park. Uh, Mr. Engel and I miss all of you guys. I'm here to present the Social Studies Awards for the underclassmen. We just want to tell you guys how happy we've been that you guys have been working so hard. And Callie and Bella, thank you guys for working so hard in social studies as well. Congratulations to those of you 9th, 10th, and 11th graders who get the Passion and Contribution Awards. We missed you guys. Bye. And here are the recipients from our social studies department. We will start with Global 9. Congratulations, Luke Salucci. Haley Clark, Jacob Krupe, Caden Goddard Hathaway, Mary Harmer, Rory Iwanesco, Tyler Michaels, Eric Rudin, Dane Weidman, 
and Nicole Wing. In the course of Global History and Geography 10, congratulations to Tristan Alderman, Nathaniel Borgo, Isabella Cardillo, Hannah Krupe, Sean Fagan, Ava, Ava Farragon, Alexandra Gabbery, Thomas Nero, Emily Walsh, Anna Zussi. In AP United States History and Government, congratulations goes to Michael Agro and Emily Consuela. In U.S. History and Government, congratulations goes out to Bailey Bates, Parker Brown, Taylor Cook, Irene Leonard, Eric Reese, and Davis Snyder. For United States Military History, we'd like to congratulate Parker Brown and Colin Kelly. For our current events course, David Meridian and Michael Sullivan, congratulations. And finally, in our sociology and psychology courses, congratulations for to Anthony Jirasi, Sophia Minnick, and Gabriel Gabrielle Mohos. Hello, I'm Mr. Dutcher. Hello, I'm Mr. Dutcher, one of the technology teachers. On behalf of the department, I would like to commend you on your efforts this year. You have shown strength and perseverance despite the challenges. You are what Avery Park is all about. Congratulations. Mr. Dutcher, thank you so much. And now we will start our final achievement awards for the evening with Fundamentals of Technology. And in the area of Fundamentals of Technology, we send our congratulations to Cameron Bendet, Evan Kuhn, Daniel Milanese, and Annika Silver. In Intro to Engineering Design, congratulations go to Ty Ardman and Evan Sweet. For Design and Drawing for Production, we send our congratulations to Anthony Ciprioni and Christian Wiley. In Energy and Power and Electricity, congratulations go to Anthony Spath and Aiden Sulky. For Automotive Technology One, we send our congratulations to Owen Dell, Colby Lester, and Jared Weingarter II. In Construction Technology 1, we send our congratulations to John Bonacquisti and Hunter Willette. For Construction Technology 2, we send our congratulations to Kevin Bryant and Austin Morris. For Intro to Video Game Development, our congratulations go to Delaney King and Spence Moranis. For Computer Science Principles, we send our congratulations to Thomas Ayers and Caden Jewell. In Computer Integrated Manufacturing, congratulations go to Benjamin Campbell and Julia Gelder. For Digital Electronics, congratulations go to Scott Ferlito and Matthew Harmer. In Exploring Robotics, congratulations go to Lucas Abate and, again, Matthew Harmer. For Civil Engineering and Architecture, we'd like to congratulate Sean Malenfant and John O'Neill Knasik. And in Principles of Engineering, congratulations go to Sean Fagan and Tyler Spink.
Congratulations to all our Academic Achievement Award winners. At this time, we would like to recognize students who have been selected for Department Passion and Contribution Awards. Students were selected for these awards based on their zest for learning as well as for, for their actions which contribute to our school and departments in a positive way. Congratulations to our award recipients for Department Passion and Contribution Awards. Our first recipients for the Passion Awards have been awarded to, for Passion for Learning, Angelina Polero, David Birch, and Hope Mulligan. In the area of contribution, congratulations go to Daniel McShane. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Klein again. And on behalf of the Avril Park High School Art Department, we just wanted to say a few words before these next awards are given out. You know, in the art world, it takes more than talent to be successful. You all, you've distinguished yourselves beyond that. You've distinguished yourselves with your dedication, your hard work, your appetite, your just general appetite for the arts. So, you know, Miss Gregory, Miss Bailey, and myself, we just want to say that we appreciate you. We appreciate the fire that you bring into our classrooms each and every day. You've got it. We hope you keep it. We hope you make more art with it. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Take care and stay healthy. From the art department, this is Mr. Klein. See you later. Thank you, Mr. Klein. The Passion Award recipients for art are Asher Hall, Alexander Heap, and Bailey Bates. And for the Contribution Award, Sienna DiGiulio. Hi, Mrs. Gabri, and I'm honored to be the person who gets to announce the nominees uh, of the awards for the Passion Award for the English Department. Um, this is an award that is given to students 9th through 11th grade who show a great deal of passion for their subject matter. I asked each of the teachers who nominated these students to tell me a little bit about their student. Okay, so for ninth grade, we have a student who is described by her teacher as someone who is very inquisitive, a student who brings up ideas and questions that benefit the entire class. She has contributed stories to every edition of our high school newspaper this year and is interested in becoming one of the newspaper's editors. Congratulations. For the 10th grade winner, this is someone who is described by her teacher as someone who truly demonstrates a passion for literature and writing. She's eager to lead insightful discussions in the classroom and is passionate about her own writing and reading. She is someone who is frequently observed enjoying a diverse range of topics and genres. And congratulations. And for our 11th grade honoree, this person has been described by his teacher as someone who loves reading and analyzing literature and he shares his thoughts and ideas willingly. Congratulations to each of our, of our award winners. Thank you very much. Mrs. Gabri, thank you. And the Passion Awards for English are as follows. Congratulations to Julie Hale, Alexandra Gabri, and Augustine Johnson. And for contribution in English, we send our congratulations to Catherine Armlin. Congratulations to the Passion Award recipients for language other than English. They are Olivia Apfel, Peter Floge, Mackenzie Minor, Alexander Heap, Haley Johnson, Emily Shanahan, and Carolina Antelik. For contribution, Congratulations to Dan McShane. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines passion as a strong desire for a devotion of some activity, object, or concept. In the math department, we describe a passionate mathematician as someone who has intrigue for content and a desire for continuous learning. 
Each of the math teachers looked at their Algebra, Geometry, and Algebra 2 students to identify a student in each of those areas that fit the description for having passion in math. We were also asked as a department to identify one student who can be described as using synonyms like bestowing, giving, and volunteering. We needed to find one student whose contribution in math displayed actions that facilitated individual growth and also improved the learning process of others. Thank you so much, Mrs. Glunk. And the recipients for math, congratulations for the Passion Award in Math to Victoria Saavedra Sanchez, Gina Monaco, and Mackenzie Rockwell. And in the area of contribution, our congratulations go to Nicole Wing. Our Passion for Learning and Contribution Awards in the Music Department are going to a group of students who show up every day, motivated to succeed, helping their peers, and just loving every minute of being present within our department and our musical community. We could not be prouder of them. Thank you, Ms. Christie. Congratulations to the Passion Awards winners for music, who are Abigail Garrison, Emma Parker, and Francesca Maroney. And the contribution award goes to Anthony Pastizzo. And the recipients for the Passion Award for Physical Education are as follows. In the area of passion, congratulations to Madison Matais, Nicholas Clemency, and Alexandra Gabbery. And for contribution, the award goes to Kevin Bryant. My name is Mr. Bertram and I'm representing the science department. The science teachers have gotten together to choose a student for the Passion Award. This award is presented to a student who demonstrates a zest for learning in the subject areas of earth science, biology, chemistry, and physics. We also have chosen a student to receive the contribution award. This award is presented to the student who, through her actions, contributes in a positive manner to all areas of science in our department. Enjoy your evening, and thank you for coming tonight. Thank you, Mr. Bertram. The Passion Award recipients for science are Jacob Kelly, Cooper Smith, Alana Penman, and Lucas Abate. And for contribution, the award winner is Emma Harriman. And the Passion Award winner from the Social Studies Department in Passion Again, we send our congratulations to Owen Perella, Tristan Alderman, and Taylor Cook. And for contribution in Social Studies, our congratulations go to Parker Brown. For our final Passion Awards for this evening are going to the Technology Department. In Technology, the congratulations goes to Lucas Abate, Adam Borland, Colin Kelly. And the Contribution Award goes to Colin Kelly. Congratulations. Our congratulations to all of the students who received Passion for Learning and Contribution Awards. Now let's take a moment to hear from Mrs. Mean for the next portion of our ceremony. The Junior Awards are individual institution awards that are presented to members of the junior class. Students receiving Junior Awards were selected by a committee led by Ms. Kirsten Lambright, this year's Junior Award Advisor. Thank you, Mrs. Lambright, for your hard work with organizing this Junior Awards event. Students are selected by their combined GPAs from their 9th, 10th, and 11th grade years. From there, the top 10% are given Junior Brag Sheets. The Brag Sheets highlighted the students' interests and strengths along with colleges of their choice and academic interests. They also fill in the details about their community service along with clubs and leadership roles. Our panel of guidance counselors, teachers, and administrators matches up the students' characteristics and college choices with their various scholarships and award criteria 
to find the best fit. Congratulations to these students. Thank you, Mrs. Mean. And we'll start the Junior Awards with a congratulations to Scott Ferlito, the recipient of the RPI Medal Award for Math and Science. This award is presented by RPI to a junior for excellence in mathematics and the advanced sciences. A $30,000 a year merit scholarship is awarded to the student should he pursue study in architecture, engineering, management, science, the humanities, and social sciences at Rensselaer Polytech University. And also we send our congratulations to Alexander Heap, who is the recipient of the University of Rochester's George Eastman Young Leaders Award. This award is in recognition of outstanding academic achievement and leadership. All nominees will have their application fee waived and will be eligible to be considered for merit scholarships worth at least $10,000 per year should he or she choose to attend the University of Rochester. Congratulations to Benjamin Campbell, the recipient of the University of Rochester's Xerox Award for Innovation and Information Technology. This award is in recognition of outstanding achievement in the pursuit of innovative approaches and in an appreciation for the possibilities of technology. All nominees will have their application fee waived and will be eligible to be considered for merit scholarships worth at least $10,000 per year should he choose to attend the University of Rochester. Wonderful job and congratulations to Rose Jaquiel, who's the recipient of the University of Rochester's Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award in Humanities and Social Sciences. This award is presented to a junior in recognition of Rochester's two most famous pioneers for social justice. All nominees will have their application fee waived and will be eligible to be considered for merit scholarships worth at least $10,000 per year should he or she choose to attend the University of Rochester. Congratulations to Fiona Carroll, the recipient of the University of Rochester's Bausch and Loam Honorary Science Award. This award is presented to an outstanding science student in, their, in the junior class. All nominees will have their application fee waived and will be eligible to be considered for merit scholarships worth at least $10,000 per year should she choose to attend the University of Rochester. Congratulations, Fiona. And wonderful job to Michael Agro, who's the recipient of Clarkson University's Achievement Award. This award is presented to a junior who demonstrates strong leadership qualities, positively impacts their high school and or local community, and have achieved an academic class rank in the top 10%. The college will award the recipient with $48,000 to be used over four years at Clarkson University. Congratulations to Lucas Abate, the recipient of the Clarkson University Leadership Award. This award is presented to a junior who demonstrates strong leadership qualities, positively impacts their high school and or local community, and has achieved an academic class rank in the top 10%. The college will award the recipient $60,000 to be used over four years at Clarkson University. Congratulations to Marissa Hansen, who is the recipient of Clarkson University's Scholars Award. This award qualifies the recipient for a $60,000 scholarship. The student would be able to use $15,000 of the scholarship per year. This scholarship recognizes the student who has demonstrated a willingness to constantly challenge themselves, has had a positive impact on the school and community, and has a proven academic record. This student has an interest in starting college this fall. Our congratulations go out to Anna Jankovic, the recipient of the St. Michael's College Book Award. This award is presented to a student in recognition of outstanding achievement and who has demonstrated a sustained and sincere commitment to community service activities in their high school or organizations within the local community. The recipients may be considered for a scholarship ranging in the amount from $15,000 to a full tuition 
contingent on acceptance to St. Michael's College. Congratulations to both Noah Bonesteel and Bailey Bates, who are the recipients of the Wells College 21st Century Leadership Award. This award honors the recipient's commitment to academics and student leadership. This award is a $40,000 scholarship for four years of study at Wells College. Congratulations to Kendall Dallard and Katherine Armlin, the recipients of the SAGE Student Recognition Awards. This award is presented to two outstanding young students in the junior class who have excelled in the classroom and have served as role models or community leaders. If admitted, the college determines the scholarship amount. Congratulations also go to Karen Zimmerman, who's the recipient of the Lemoyne College Heights Award. This award is presented in recognition of outstanding achievement and commitment to academic excellence, leadership, and service. This scholarship is a $55,000 scholarship to be used over four years of college. Rebecca Moore and Sean Maliphant, are, congratulations, are the recipients of the Elmira College Key Award. This award is presented to two juniors who rank in the top 10% of their class, demonstrate outstanding school and community leadership. A Key Award winner receives an $80,000 scholarship to be used over a four-year period upon enrolling in Elmira College. And congratulations also go to both Roy Jacobson and Emily Horton, who are the recipients of the RIT Creativity and Innovation Award. This award is presented to two juniors who rank in the top 10% of their class, who are involved as leaders in their school community, and demonstrate outstanding achievement in innovation, creativity, or entrepreneurship. This $32,000 award is used over four years at RIT. The RIT Computing Medal has been awarded to Augustin Johnson and Julia Gelder. This award is presented to two juniors who rank in the top 10% of their class, demonstrate leadership in school and or community activities, and demonstrate an interest and an ability in the field of computing. RIT awards each student $32,000 scholarship to be used over four years. Our congratulations also go to Emma Burdick, who is the recipient of the GW Book Award. This award is presented to a junior who embodies the George Washington University drive and spirit, specifically with their academic excellence, leadership outside of the classroom, diversity of thought, and ability to put knowledge into action. Nominees will receive the book, George Washington's Leadership Lessons. Their application fee will be waived, and if admitted, they will become eligible for the GW Book Award Scholarship. If admitted, the college determines the scholarship amount. And our final award winners this evening, congratulations to Fiona Carroll and Julia Gelder, the recipients of the New York State Capital District Society of Women Engineers Certificate of Merit. This award is presented to two female students on the basis of their achievements in math, science, and technology, their character, and their desire for a future career in engineering, math, or science. Congratulations, girls. And we're going to go right back to Mrs. Leach for one moment with an important message about how to get your awards. Congratulations to all our awards winners tonight. Certificates, medals, and scholarships can be picked up at the school on Wednesday, May 27th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and on Thursday, May 28th from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. We will send this information out in email as well. And now here is Mr. Keeles for a final message for the evening. Thank you so much, Mrs. Leach. While I know that we are all in extremely different places tonight, um, let's be sure to take a moment, wherever we are, to give the students who have received awards tonight a big round of applause. Congratulations to all of you. And to our students, remember to look around at the people that you are with tonight. And please take a moment to appreciate the fact that there are very few things in this world that we achieve alone. 
The people who are with you this evening, the people who have been with you throughout the past several months, are those who support and take care of you each day so that you can find the success that you have. Please take a moment tonight to thank those individuals. I'd like to congratulate all of our recipients tonight again. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. And whether we are together physically or together through a virtual ceremony like this, I'd like for you to know that we are extremely proud of all of our students at Averill Park High School and of the community with whom we work. So whether we're together or not, congratulations. Please stay well, stay healthy, take good care of each other, and we look forward to when we're able to be together again. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you for joining us.